Hello, here is a word problem on trajectory of a ball thrown. You'll come across many such examples in quadratic applications. So let's try to solve it and we will here use factors in the factored form to find the answer. The question here is a ball thrown from a building follows a trajectory which can be modeled by a quadratic function h of t equals to minus 5t square plus 8t plus 4 where h of t is height in meters at time t in seconds. Find the domain and range of the function. Now as you can see this is represents a parabolic path right if t equals to 0 here then h of t will be 4 so if a ball is thrown let's assume that the ball is thrown from some height of 4 correct and it go like this and ultimately fall correct so this is the path and this path has been shown by the function h of t and this is time t in seconds correct and this is height in meters to find domain and range what need to find is the time when the ball will strike the ground correct starts from zero of course and at this point height is zero correct so that gives us a domain and to find the range we have to find the vertex of this parabola the highest point reached highest point can be reached if we think about the whole path somewhere here we can assume it would have cut the x-axis so we'll have these two as our x-intercepts so right in the middle of these two we will have our axis of symmetry correct and on that axis of symmetry we will get the vertex finding the value of h of t at that value of t we will know what the maximum is zero of course is our minimum for this path correct so we need to solve for height equals to zero so that we get this point as well as this point so that's the approach to this problem and so we have function here as h of t equals to minus 5t square plus 8t plus 4 so we will equate h of t as zero and say zero equals to minus 5t square plus 8t plus 4 now we need to factor this out so how can we do it you need to have product of 5 times 4 which is minus 20 so this is a good review to all these things product should be we are looking for two numbers p and q whose product should be minus 20 and p plus q to be 8 correct so work out that what are those two numbers which will give us 20 as a product minus and plus this well it seems that the two numbers should be of opposite sign and the bigger number should be positive the two numbers are 10 times 2 right 10 plus and 2 negative so we can split the middle term right with 10 and 2 this is equals to 10t minus 2t plus 4 do you get it so 10t minus 2t is 8t right now we'll factor the we got four terms here so we'll combine the two group them and then factor so here minus 5t is common right and you are left with t minus 2 and here 2 is common we'll take minus 2 outside and we get t minus 2 correct now we can factor out t minus 2 so we get t minus 2 and from here we get minus 5t and from here we get minus 2 oh, sorry uh, yeah t minus t minus 2 well we could take this I'll do that now so what we'll do is we'll take minus and minus outside the bracket correct so we'll take minus of t minus 2 times 5 
t minus 2 correct so this minus taken out will make it plus correct so we are left with these two factors so h of t is 0 when t is equals to what in this case so we'll equate t minus 2 as 0 and we get what from here we get for t equals to 2 this factor will be 0 right and this factor will be 0 for t equals to minus 2 over 5 correct now it seems this point is minus 2 over 5 correct and this point here is 2 so mid value will be we'll add them and divide by 2 correct right so in any case we know here what the domain is because at t equals to 2 the ball strikes the ground and therefore it remains in the air from 0 to t correct now let's find the center value the x is the symmetry for this graph x is symmetry is at t equals to 2 midway between t equals to 2 and this so that point t is equals to we'll add these two to plus minus 2 over 5 divided by 2 correct so that gives us the center of this value right now this is we'll take 5 as a common denominator 5 times 2 is 10 minus 2 right over 5 which comes here times 2 which is 8 over 10 correct so 8 over 10 or 0 0.8 is the time so let me write 0 0.8 right so at h of 0 0.8 we have the maximum value so we can plug in 0 0.8 here right and we get t is 0 0.8 minus 2 times 5 times 0 0.8 plus 2 correct and let's calculate this value using a calculator well we can do it straight away like this 0 0.8 times this will give us 1.2 minus this minus times this is how much 4 right 8 times 5 is 40 4 plus 2 is 6 and so we get 6 times this minus minus becomes plus and we get 7.2. So 7.2 is our height and this height is in meters. Is that okay? So therefore now we can write both domain and range. So what is our domain? Domain is T belongs to real numbers where T is greater than or equal to 0 and is less than or equal to 2 and range is we can write HT we can write HT or you can write Y also belongs to real numbers where it is between 0 H of T is less than or equal to 7.2 so that's our domain range for this problem i hope you understand the method and you also understand how we can use factored form to solve the quadratic equation okay thank you